There's their pricing. $18.95. Hey everybody, Tommy for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Rising Sun, Maryland and I'm visiting the Plumpton Park Zoo. This is a unscheduled zoo, but I wanted to come here because it was close by to where I was. It is a uh, mid-sized, smaller zoo in between those two. Uh, a lot of the animals here are rescues from uh, bad situations. It doesn't list exactly what they were rescued from, but I gotta imagine they were rescued from some deplorable conditions in some places. So, gonna show you a map and we are gonna get started checking this place out. They have 75 different animal species in this zoo. So let's get started. This is the Plumpton Park Zoo map. All right, first up we got Lennon's two-toed sloth. And a red-footed tortoise. The red-footed tortoise are all out moving around. So we got five of them in here. The sloth is still in a little carrier. Yeah. Not wanting to come out. This is right at the front, so I'll check before I leave, see if he's out. Got redneck wallaby. Oh wow, they got an albino. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so I've never seen an albino redneck wallaby before. And of course you see a more traditional colored. Hi baby, how you doing? Hi! Up, 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 up. Hop it away. The zoo has a bunch of information on the plant life here also. Got bamboo. So of course there's bamboo all over here. You see how tall it grows? Makes a nice canopy here. And of course I'm sure we'll see some of these birds today. I just heard them. There we go, up high in the tree. That's the peafowl, or people call him peacock. And that is a male, you can tell by the nice bright blue plumage. Got koi. You got the nice koi pond. They're all hanging out over here now. I got a silver maple. Oh, there's another albino wallaby here. Just gonna show you the tree. Wow. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful looking animal. Now this maple tree, I'm really surprised is still alive. Because of where the wallaby came out of, you can see the whole base of this tree on this side is like all just gone. But oh wow, it is such a cool animal. Now we're gonna go inside a bird and reptile house. All right, well I'll take that back. Evidently it is closed at the moment. Like they're doing some renovation work. But there are restrooms right around the side of that building. Look at red footed tortoise. This guy's got a nice habitat. And I see him. I was looking for him, but I didn't see him, and I just kinda kinda lean in. There we go, red footed tortoise. Got a Harris's hawk. Hello. Oh man, beautiful bird.
Oh, we got a Sicilian donkey. You got an itch, huh? You got an itch? Hi. Just scratch up against the, the fence. Okay, got an itch. Got an itch. Here's a second one. Ooh. Hi. How are you? Came right over. Food. Hi. I got a soft nose. You got a soft nose, you do. You got a very soft nose, you do. Yeah, you're looking for food. I'm sorry, I don't have any for you. Get a chicken in here. Hi, chicky. Some other birds. Got another Sicilian donkey. This is a third habitat. Got a serval. Cooper just hissed at me. Hi, kitty cat. Hi, kitty cat. Hi. Son here saying this was, uh, serval was rescued. Doesn't specify what it was rescued from. But evidently it was in a bad situation. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty cat. Hi. All right, so I'll cut the tortoise. Oh, that's a good size I'll cut a. Yeah, he's definitely bigger than my Sheldon at home. Yeah, he's a he's a good amount bigger actually. I'm going to get another smaller so kind of tortoise around this side. All right, we got sheep. See the sheep yard. All the sheep are over here in their little barn. Hi, sheepy. Hi everybody! Hi everyone! He's got a goat here too. Hi! The only animal that's out here in the sun. I like the noise that they make. And these were rescued also. Hi! Got a Reve's a Munchak. Got a good sized habitat. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, I see one now. There we go. There we go. A little better view. Cute animal. Get two of these. Like I said, the zoo is doing some renovation work over in this area. Oh, this is a pretty looking bird. No sign that says what kind this is. Got a silver pheasant. So that is what this one bird was, because this is another one. So I'm guessing this must be the male, and the females are the the smaller and duller brown. With a lot of bird species, the males got to be all flashy and with the nice looking feathers, because they have to attract the females. So silver pheasant. Got hairy bamboo. Yeah, a totally different type of bamboo than the first one that we saw. 
Uh, we got American black bear. Yeah, so it looks like the outdoor yard that they are renovating for the black bear. So you can see him in the back. So he's kind of behind the scenes at the moment. While they're doing renovation work. And we got European brown bear. Hi bear, how are you? Like he's inside of his uh, smaller habitat at the moment. Hi, bear. There we got Siberian tiger and a Bengal tiger. Oh yeah, there we go. And these were also rescued. Yeah, Bengal tiger in the back. Siberian tiger is the more traditional colored tiger. Wow. Beautiful big cats. Here we go. Hi. Hi, big kitty cats. All right, we got cougar. There we go. Sonny came running over. Hi, kitty kitty. Oh, big beautiful cat. How are you doing? Yeah, followed me as I was walking down the path. Hi. I got all sorts of stuff to climb on. Oh, they got a drawdry camel. Or one hump camel. I don't see a sign for this guy. It's so nice. Who has quite a few donkeys? Guess this is another Sicilian. Hi! He's a good boy. Alright, reticulated giraffe. Oh, yeah. Always enjoy the giraffe. Trying to get you a better view of the giraffe. Oh, camera shy, doesn't want to be photographed, I guess. Alright, we got alpaca. Saw two of them a little earlier. Got the others over here. So we got llama. The llamas are a little bit bigger than the alpacas. Sun also says these were rescued. There is a female peafowl. So you don't have the bright flashy colors. Just like the pheasant, the females are typically a dull brown color because they don't got to be flashy because the males come to them. Woo! All right, we got some binturong. That long tail, wow. Hi. All right, we got umbrella cockatoo. Hi, pretty birds. Hi. Hi, the pretty birds. 
Yeah, sometimes my camera scares the animals. Hi, pretty birds. Hello. All right, so a lot of the pathways kind of uh, go back and intersect. So here's the koi pond. So I'm gonna start heading this way. I just came from the right where I wrapped around where I saw most of these animals. So now I'm gonna head here to the left and see what we'll find. Got butterflies in the mid-Atlantic and butterfly and caterpillar plants. So yeah, having butterflies is very beneficial because they help with pollination along with uh, the bumblebees. Oh, we got some gibbons. Yeah, I heard you hooting and hollering earlier. I did. Very loud. You're very loud. Yeah. Making sure everybody knew you were here, huh? Yep. I do see other ones inside swinging back and forth. Hi. All right, we got pygmy goat. We saw a couple of the goats in with the sheep earlier, but this is the actual goat yard. Hey, goaty goats. Hi. What's up? How you doing? I like the nice, uh, very nice horns. Hi. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Yeah. I always like the goats. Got American bison. See him over here. I'll get a better view in a moment. All right, we got a Dabra giant tortoise. Okay, sign here says this was rescued also. Very nice. Because I've seen him, these big giant tortoises. About three and four times the size of this one. We got bald cypress. You can definitely tell this type of tree from the cypress knees all the way around it. The cypress trees can be huge. Got these in Florida. And I've seen them in Louisiana. Oh yeah, several other peacocks, a peafowl. Got the male here. All right, we got scarlet macaw and blue and gold macaw. Got the blue and gold macaws. I right, think another pheasant over here. Hi, pheasant. Hey, pheasant! Alright, so I'm not seeing a scarlet macaw. But I do see another cockatoo over here. Yeah, in this part. Whew. Oh, they got a little chicken here, too. What the mommy. Yeah, get the little baby with the mommy. There you go. Maybe the mommy. All right, so I backtracked to the map. It's gonna be a whole lot easier to see where I'm at. So I went down majority of these pathways. So I'm gonna go over to where the American bison are. And go up see the zebras and the couple of things up here and head back down. Got some Grant's zebra. Look at that. Alright. Sorry guys, no zebra butts today. These guys must not be in the loop. Turn around when you see Tom from Tom's Road Trip and coming with the camera. Hi, Zebra. Hmm. 
Just have some bugs around it. Got buggies bothering you? We have the zebra cam right over by the fence. Hi zebra! How you doing? Hi! Got to hand feed these guys before. Gotta be really careful because they bite sometimes if you're not careful. Yeah, definitely much better to look over here. And these, these two have a very, very large area to walk around. How you doing? Amazing animals. You guys are almost hunted into extinction back in the 1800s. Right, Zoo has back drain camel also. He's got a two hump camel. We got Watusi. All right, so the Watusi is almost hidden. Wasn't out in its habitat for the most part. Just over by the barn. Yes, yeah, so it's around the corner. Those big horns are a honeycomb inside. So they're not solid, but they're also not hollow. Got Arctic Wolf. Now the wolf was just out and went right inside that cave. Said my camera sometimes scares the animals. I try my best to be slow with them. Alright, so the wolfie came out. As I walked away, wow, what a beautiful animal. Hi. Beautiful white fur. There we go. Trying to get to an area where there's only one fence I was looking through, not two. Yeah, it's a gorgeous animal. So yeah, these are the European brown bears. Yeah. So yeah, one of the bears is out in its larger habitat now. All right, we got a cave with a with a spraying station to help keep the bear nice and cool. Yes, yeah, so there's another bear that's right on the other side. Oh, he's all the way over there. Yeah, right on the other side. And the bear on the left. Got black backed jackal. I honestly don't think I've ever seen this type of animal in a zoo before. Hi. Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing jackal. So that's a good surprise. Even these smaller type zoos might have species you've never seen before. All right, Scottish Highland. All right, got the Highland cow in the corner. Very nice new. I see you. Very nice. You guys get that long fur or hair. Here we go. You do have giraffe feeding throughout the day for five dollars. You saw a wild rabbit. I guess they got giraffe conservation center. It's all about the different giraffes. Get Africa's giraffe.
Nambia's giraffe. Kenya's giraffe. So there are restaurant locations right inside the building. This is one of the classrooms they have here. <laughs> it's like he's scratching. Got an itch. You can see the other one around the side. So you can hear the sabang over there now. These guys are loud. The other one is still inside. A nice view of this male peacock's feathers. Got a continental giant rabbit. See, I did miss these. Hi, bun buns. Ooh, nice bunny rabbits. Got these pigs here. Hi. You see, rescued also. So you might just be too new to the zoo to have signs up yet. Hey piggies! Hey piggies! Oh, we got a smaller one over here. Hi! Hi! That black-tailed prairie dog. <laughs> Look at them! No, they're not. They're little hands. Look at them! Nice, nice. nice. Up, oh my god, they're so Back cute. Back up, a barred owl. Oh man, yes. Such beautiful birds. Such beautiful birds. Patagonian cavy. Hey, sweetheart. All right. Got two more to Patagonian Cavi. Oh yeah, these are cute little animals. Can you back to the sheep? They are out now. I startled this one. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you, I'm sorry. So my camera really freaks the animals out sometimes. I gotta go up to them really slow. Here we go. Hi. Oh, they're nice and fluffy. Oh yeah, nice and fluffy. Yeah. Got African crested porcupine. Look, the porcupine just got some breakfast. There we go. Yeah, breakfast time or lunch time maybe. Yeah, there we go. That's a good shot. Yeah, this is a, a Julian pig or mini pig. And these two are Vietnamese pot bellied pigs. Yeah, I clarified with one of the workers I saw feeding the uh, porcupines. They're so new they don't have a sign up yet. Because these animals were also rescued. But he wants to go play with the big piggies next door. Huh? Yeah, you want to go play with the other piggies? Yeah? Yeah, so two toed sloth moved from one carrier to the other. Now he's up in this one. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for my visit to Plumpton Park Zoo. Had a great time. A really nice variety of animals. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get to show you the reptile house because it is being renovated. So uh, nothing I can do about that. 
everything else that was available I got to see came back got some better views of a few of the animals that they were in the homes earlier on so you'll leave some comments down below where your favorite zoo animal was that I saw today other comments suggestions I always welcome comments from everybody hey, if you're not already subscribed if you like stuff like this I go to zoos aquariums theme parks all over the country I got well over uh, 300 different videos on my channel right now more coming every Thursday 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so join my channel. I think you will like it. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.